Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have my Ipsy bag that I just opened and I did this video and for some reason didn't record. So I come to you once again to show you the products even though you haven't seen them before. Alright, so if you're interested in knowing what I got in my Ipsy bag and also a little surprise at the end, then just keep watching this video. Thanks. So if you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a monthly subscription that you pay $10 a month and you receive this bag uh, around the 15th. I get it around the 20th, but oh well. And then you get to try different products. Sometimes you get full size, sometimes you get uh, sample sizes, but I feel like it's a great way to be introduced to new brands, new products, and see if they're really worth trying or not. So. Anyways, if you're interested about Ipsy or you want more information about it, I'm going to list my link down below. You can go ahead and check it out. If you want to sign up through it, that's fine. If not, you can go to ipsy.com and do it through there. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I see is this, which is just a sample of um, Skin Iceland solution for stress skin and the step one is a blue clay mask and the step two is an activating gel i feel like there's enough product for two applications on each of this container or little pouches so i'm gonna give it a try if you don't follow me on instagram you should because i'm go i usually just post random things that are not worth a video so if you're interested in my opinion on these products, then um, I will probably post it after I use it for at least twice. By the way, I checked online and these products are not cheap. I saw products for $70 from this brand. So let's see if it's truly amazing. Then the next thing are just eyelashes and these ones are the J-Cat EL13. Uh, they're not here because they're in my eyes right now and I use them. This is the second time I use them and I mean you can work with them. I'm gonna insert a clip so you can see the style that these lashes are but I feel like they're hard to work with they're not the most easy kind to use I feel like the Ardell or Andrea or whatever other lashes that you try even the elf ones I feel like they are easy for me to apply I don't know if it's just me or what I don't it is. think I'm so interested about buying these lashes or that they will send me again from this brand anyways then the next product is this pop beauty and I don't know if this is it. I mean it seems like it's a lip gloss it's a nice color it's called fuchsia fresia and or frisia I don't know it's a nice color I use it in a tutorial I just can't smell it it is so oh disgustingly smelling tasting it just I have to smell it, it smells like I don't know you tell me if you got this tell me what you think this smells like to me it smells and tastes like I don't know like some kind of uh, old rusty metal I don't know I just I can't get over it I'm gonna try to use it because after like five minutes you can't really taste it anymore but the first time I tried it it made me gag so if you are kind of picky on tasting or smelling lip products this might not be something that you're interested in um, I'm hoping I can make it work because I actually love the color and the formula it's just the smell but it's really strong for me so the next thing is this eye teeny I don't know this is like a cream eyeshadow but more like a gel eyeshadow it's this pretty lavender color that it doesn't look lavender in the camera I'm sorry but it's a lavender color it's called violet I used it on a tutorial and I thought that it looked really pretty by itself you have to let it dry before you just close your eyes otherwise it's gonna crease on you but I applied it in my lid area and then let it sink and let it just dry a little bit and apply eyeshadows on top of it and it was amazing it made my eyeshadows look 10 times better and I love it for more of a purpley kind of look that goes really well with any with any eye color then the last product that came it's a Zoya nail polish and it's in the color dot this is how it looks like it's like a baby pink and I love this kind of colors for the summertime I feel like whenever I'm more tan I like well I tend to use more of lighter um, 
nail color I don't know why but I feel like it makes my skin look even better I don't know but I like it I would use it for my toes I would use it for my nails I just think that it's a very pretty color that I'm gonna get to use a lot during the summertime as well so I'm excited about this and Zoya nails nail polishes are not cheap so it's nine dollars and the bag with the shipping and everything it's ten so I think this just made the whole bag worth it They had this uh, br NYX sm Bronze Smoky Look Kit. I can't just say it. Oh my gosh. Uh, and this is a small, really compact palette that I think it's really handy to keep in your makeup bag. And as you can see, it has a lot of pretty colors. They're like bronzy and very warm tone kind of colors. Well, some of them anyways. Or at least the ones that are going to be for your crease or transition. I think those are really you know they work with any skin tone so also it has this little area down here that it has two lip colors and I thought that was really pretty and handy whenever we're on the go but this was just because you guys uh, subscribed to Ipsy through my link so I told you that I signed up for another Ipsy bag and that I'm gonna be giving it away to people that can't really get Ipsy bags and since I am still on the waiting list I decided that I'm gonna give this one away this just because you guys signed up through my link it's kind of yours so I want to give back to you and this month's winner is Gabby Robera I have a little area in my YouTube page where it says my number one fan and she's been my number one fan for this past month uh, and I guess they just count the likes and if they watch the video from beginning to end and you know comments and everything and so they rate your subscribers and she was the number one so I just want to say thank you to you Gabby thank you for being there for me thank you for supporting my channel and for those of you guys who didn't win don't worry about it there will be a new winner every single month that I open my ipsy bag and if I don't get my ipsy bag for next month I will still do a giveaway so so, thank you.